great war in hell began. Now, if you are one of the hell of a boss loving crew, I can guarantee that you will definitely love the hotel. Because the same universe and the same absurdity is here too. In this video, we got the news that after years of waiting, my waiting has come to an end. And finally, Husband Hotel will be with us on January 19th. Although some of the voice actors of Husband Hotel, which will be broadcast with Amazon Prime, have changed. The absurdity and story are the same as the original pilot episode. This is an important element, because if it progresses outside of what was shown in the pilot and canon stories, it will not be a very enjoyable series for us. Apart from that, we came across some very interesting details that we watched the trailer. Before we get to them, for more videos like this, just subscribe and like the video to support this little channel. Without further ado, welcome to my channel and video. If anyone remembers, we did the original story of the Has Been Hotel Pilot episode months ago. There are a lot of points and theories that we touched on here. So after watching this video, you should watch the original story of Has Been Hotel because we really gave a lot of details here and we will give more after we start publishing. Let's come to the trailer. Those who watch Husband Hotel and Hell of a Boss will know that every few years the gates of heaven open and an army of angels descends. In the hands of this army are deadly weapons. These are extremely horrible weapons made with angelic technology that can affect both the normal inhabitants of hell and the demons. Now, someone may say, yes, the creatures in hell are already bad, let them die. Remember that hell is a stopover, and again, according to theology, people who have suffered in hell will enter heaven after their punishment is over. So the question is a human being or a creature, whatever it is, who is suffering in hell or whose punishment is about to end. If he dies, where does he go? This is a complete mystery. Don't forget to give your opinion in the comments, because this topic will allow us to make a completely different video. To continue the story, why the angels did this, genocide is due to an event caused by one of the archangels, the Grim Reaper, you can't find these parts everywhere, so listen well, because we see this Grim Reaper in the trailer. Long ago, when God left control of heaven and hell, Azrael took control of both sides. In the absence of God, the Grim Reaper changes the sin process a little bit, and even very small things are considered sinful. Even the nuns are affected. But even though God takes control later on, it doesn't change the situation and the process of sin remains the same. At first it is not a problem, but the fact that everyone is a sinner and these sins are forgiven rapidly increases the number of creatures in hell. The angels choose slaughter as a solution. In this way, the increasing population of hell is balanced every year and hell remains stable. We see Azrael and some archangels with him. What the other angels are is unknown at the moment. However, Azrael mocks the has been hotel's project of making demons or evil beings into good creatures. He thinks this is impossible. According to him, or even according to everyone else, an evil soul in hell can never be good. But that is the purpose of hell to punish them and send them to heaven. Yet it is not known what happened to those who died as a result of this war. Most importantly, the question remains why God does not change this course. The question of why this behavior of the Grim Reaper happens becomes quite interesting when we look at the history. After Lucifer was expelled from heaven, he created and founded hell. 
effectively creating a sanctuary for sinners and demons to indulge in whatever crimes and sins they desired. According to legends, Azrael, the archangel of death, became paranoid with Lucifer's rise to power and feared that the fallen prince was planning to gather an army in countless numbers so that he could use them to overcome the powers of heaven and ascend to the sacred realm. To prevent this possible outcome, Azrael chose a large number of warrior angels to assist him in preventing the growth of Lucifer's powers. He ruthlessly trained his chosen angels to be virtually unstoppable killers, training them in almost every form of angelic combat to give them mastery over all his holy weapons. At the end of each year, the destroyers would descend from heaven with their master and enter the ring of pride to cull and slaughter as many demons and sinners as possible before returning to heaven on New Year's Day. They then wait for the next year to be able to slaughter the population of hell again, a cycle they have repeated for thousands of years. Secretly, however, the Reaper's motive for establishing the annual day of extermination is not out of any altruistic purpose, but out of bigoted and petty hatred towards the demons, who have the sinister goal of exterminating the entire species. In recent years, Princess Charlie Magne, Princess of Hell, has attempted to combat overpopulation in Hell by starting the Hasbin Hotel as a way to eradicate the exterminations, specifically so that redeemed sinners can ascend to heaven. It is at this point that the establishment of the Hasbin Hotel becomes more meaningful. When we look at the history, there is the following information. The beginning of the Day of Destruction begins with an extremely loud siren heard throughout Pride, as well as in the Pride Ring. At this point, the entire army of destroying angels would descend into Hell and spread across the entire ring to begin the annihilation. During the exterminations, almost all souls in Pride were ready to be slaughtered. Even the overlords were not safe and were seen taking refuge in their various bases during the exterminations. The only inhabitants of Hell that the exterminators were forbidden to kill were the Magin family. Most of Pride's inhabitants avoided the extermination by holing up in a safe and fortified house or establishment and simply waited for the day to end, but this proved ineffective against the more bloodthirsty exterminators. Whenever a demon or sinner was destroyed, their souls were effectively annihilated by the holy weapons of the annihilators. The result of the extermination was signaled by the lead exterminators, letting out an extremely loud robotic roar to alert their teammates, at which point the angels would regroup and return to heaven at the end of the day. Following this, Charlie Magni would signal the departure of all the exterminators by setting off a massive fireworks display into the ski scene throughout the entire Pride, after which the countdown in the tower would reset to 365 days until the next extermination. So that's the main story of the hotel. I will shape this by giving you more and more information day by day. So write everything you want to learn in the comments and I will list them. I think if you've watched this far, it means you liked my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Express your opinions in the comments and like the video to support me. See you in the next video, take care of yourself, goodbye.